uh, if we get those three folks Excellent. together. So let's go to this question from Sarah Siminski from our audience. Sarah. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Hershey, Pennsylvania. And as a Hillary supporter, I wanted to ask you, Senator Cruz. That's mature. Thank you, yes. Um, as a Hillary supporter, I wanted to know. Let her ask the question, please. Okay, as a Hillary supporter, I wanted to know. Thank you. I wanted to know what your um, campaign against her would look like if you're elected as your party's candidate. Sarah Cruz. Mm -hmm. Well, Sarah, first of all, let, let me thank you for coming. And, and, and this is not an easy crowd to be in as a Hillary supporter. So I, I appreciate your, the courage of your convictions. And I appreciate your coming here to ask that question. Um, listen, I, I can't wait to stand on a debate stage with Hillary Clinton because my campaign against her is going to be the same as my campaign has been on the primary. It's going to be based on substance and the issues. In this primary, when others have gone personal and nasty, I haven't responded in kind. I'm not going, to do, not, not going to do that with Hillary either. Instead, I'm going to focus on substance. So, for example, Hillary will talk often about income inequality. I can't wait for her to do so because I look forward to turning to her and saying, I'm very glad that Secretary Clinton raised the issue of income inequality. It has increased dramatically under her policies. If you look at the Obama-Clinton economy, the rich have gotten richer, the top 1%, today earn a higher share of our income than any year since 1928. Those with power and influence in Washington have gotten fat and happy, and the people who have been hurt the most are, 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 are those who are struggling to climb the economic ladder. It's young people, it's Hispanics, it's African Americans, it's single moms, it's the working men and women, the union members with calluses on their hands. The Obama-Clinton domestic policy doesn't work. We've seen millions of jobs fleeing America. And the Obama-Clinton foreign policy is even worse. And so the case I'm going to make in the general election is we need to bring back jobs. My number one priority as president is bringing back good, high-paying jobs, manufacturing jobs, raising wages for the working men and women, expanding opportunity for young people like you. I, I want to ask you a follow-up question to that, Senator. Uh, earlier today, yeah. Charles Koch uh, made a statement that he looked at the potential Republican nominees, and that he said it was possible that Hillary Clinton might make a better president than you or Donald Trump or John Kasich. He said it was possible, given past policy. What do you say about that? Well, actually, Martha, that's not what he said. The question that he was asked was, is it possible that the Republican nominee could be worse than Hillary? And he said, yes. I think Charles was pretty clearly speaking about one nominee, and his name is Donald, and it ends with Trump. He was not speaking about everyone. And, 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 and so, and now the media all immediately reported that as, as, as he was speaking about everyone. But if you go and actually look at the question and answer, but he has as voted did, for Democrats and Republicans that, in the past, he said. So he, you know, he was pointing that out as well. Uh, yes, but 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 listen, there is a clear and meaningful contrast that that the voters have. You know, you know, it is striking on issue after issue how many issues Donald Trump agrees with Hillary Clinton. When it comes to the individual mandate on Obamacare, both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton agree on the individual mandate on Obamacare. When it comes to being neutral between Israel and the Palestinians, both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton agree we should be neutral with the Palestinians. I will not be neutral. America will stand unapologetically with Israel if I'm elected president. 